How's it going everybody? Trevor Randall's Outdoors Iowa here today. And we are out on the boat chasing the big brown and ugly fish, you guys. I already missed one, twice even. He hit the bait, I picked it up, and moved the boat too much and I think he let it go. Put the bait right back down, hit it again and I ended up getting stuck in the tree and losing it. So, unfortunately, but we were in a great spot. We might even spend the night on the boat instead of fit, hitting a sandbar, but there is a sandbar nearby. So if we do need to, we can go and pack up and hit the sandbar to sleep on. I haven't slept yet today. Got off work, got a whole bunch of stuff going, then got ready for this trip. Pretty optimistic, you guys. I think it's gonna happen, hopefully. That's, that's my goal. So we'll see if we can get one. I'll try to get on video for you guys. And uh, I don't know, wish us luck. Let's see if we can find us a flathead. I'll bring you guys back in a bit. Well, I'm careful I can get it out. <laughs> so I put a seven knot cable on so I know I can walk it through the trees now. That's the only time they suck is when you're fishing rocks. That's a deep hole. Probably five, six foot right here around there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because it was seven foot till it got to the end of this little branch over here on the left. I'm close to that the cut in Really? Oh yeah. We're on. Hey look, there's bait. <laughs> oh buggies. <laughs> He's still alive. Yeah. That's why I was like, oh what's in my finger? Not the hook. Alright. Definitely was not coming out. That's one of the weird hooks I have too. Ooh, oh yeah, everywhere. <laughs> okay, hang on. Gotta turn the light off. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um Shit. Yeah. That's why I got two fingers. <laughs> oh, you did that at the wrong time. <sighs> <laughs> Just finally hooked one and kept it on. All right, guys, first flathead in the boat. Ten o'clock on the dot. Look at that. Probably gonna go about. Uh, you got your scale. Yeah, I'll I'll scale it later, but eight eight nine pounds probably. We'll see. There's uh, a lot of bugs with lights on, so I'm gonna get this guy back, and we're gonna keep on fishing. Let's see what else we can get. And I'll try to get it on video because I don't think it got on video, unfortunately. Right. Keep them up. Big fish, guys. Big fish. They're coming out. Big fish. Oh, it looked bigger. Oh, yeah. Is that a big channel cat? Yep, got it. Yep, that's channel. a big channel cat. Thank God for that hundred pound braid right there. <laughs> right, now it's gonna be... Wow. Jesus. Wow. Nothing like boat with that channel cat. Oh my gosh, Charles just hooked himself a big channel cat right outside the boat. Well, that is not the species I want. <laughs> well, subspecies in there, I guess. Well, the cows, the cows work better. Uh, the what? Yeah, my cow hooks was. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, it is. Hooked it great, too. Oh, yeah. Let's see if you guys can see them. Woo! 
Oh, yeah, careful there. Big old channel cat. <laughs> Prego. Big channel cat. Give my finger back. Yeah, that's the second catfish in the boat tonight, you guys. We're getting somewhere. Smell you a little later, buddy. Ha ha, I didn't get any. <laughs> Alright. We gotta get baited back up, we'll get back out. A lot of bugs. Doesn't feel big. It's running. Another gar. Run right here in the corner of the boat. Oh, now it's waking up. Going forward. Hang on. Should know one was running right at me. Oh. Mine was bigger. <laughs> Still a chunk. Yeah. Now is the bullhead. No, yeah. I'd switch it out. Never mind. No, that should have been a bluegill. <sighs> Who have we got, you guys? Another channel cat. Well, them lights are kind of nifty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, going back. <laughs> that was a tough one. I was laying down, couldn't get up. <laughs> Bloop. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's going to be all body done. With them damn things. Whatever you can get. The seat's got wet. There you guys. I don't have my light on the other GoPro. But I got tent set up. It's a little after midnight. Charles set up over here. Probably can't see all the way over there. Got a couple nice rod, a couple rods out. And the boat's nice and parked. So hopefully you can see me. It's dark. I'm tired. Got off work. Had a big dentist appointment. Was there for a couple hours. And then we got ready to go fishing, you guys. So, two channel cats in the boat, plus flathead, and one gar. And now we are on a sandbar and set up on a nice deep hole with some transition to the smaller, shallower water. So we're going to see if we can get anything through the night. But... We are set up, camp set, and we're gonna build a fire and hit the hay. So hopefully this turns into a video. First flathead of the year, you guys, and also first flathead on my boat. 14 years of owning that boat. First flathead on the boat, so cool. So I'll bring you guys back if we get a fish. If not, I'll see you guys in the morning. There you guys, I was so tired. By the time I heard the clickers going off, Charles already got to the pole. And I didn't even have time to grab the camera. I didn't even make it out of the tent and the fish was already on the bank. So, there is fly head number two, three o'clock in the morning. I'm so tired. And it's so windy. And one little blanket wasn't enough. <laughs> I'm good though. I'm staying warm. But I will show you guys the flathead in the morning. It's probably right around 10 pounds. Maybe a little under. Perfect eating size. It went on a stringer. We're going to have a fish fry, you guys. Oh my goodness. This is the hard part about going and doing this stuff on the days that I don't sleep. You may not hear that clicker, because by the time he grabbed it, it was on a bobber rig with a little bullhead six feet offshore, and it's probably about eight to ten feet deep right off the six feet. So, that was the ticket. And it's only three o'clock. We shall see if some more show up, and hopefully bigger, and hopefully we wake up this time. As soon as the clicker goes off. Alright. I'm going back to sleep, you guys. Try to run the camera. Oh my gosh. Is this a f mark?
lost it. Then I know what the. <laughs> it was a gar something. Camera, you're just gonna stay out here. <laughs> Whoa! Easy! Alright, you guys. We are packed up in the morning. We're gonna go try a couple different spots downriver. But here's the two we got last night. I mean, nice ride around 10 pounds, probably. I haven't weighed them yet, but I will later. But we are packed up and we're gonna head down the river and try for some daytime flatheads, you guys. <sighs> Let's get on them. Oh, oh my yeah. god. Oh. Just lost it. Oh. Dude, that was a big one. Yeah. Yep. That's the one we're after. We just lost a real one right off the side of the boat, you guys. That was probably a at least probably 25, 30. <laughs> Broke the leader on a tree. Yeah, it's, that one thing's frayed. As soon as I set the hook, it was rolling. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was All right, back at it. All right, guys, getting nice and windy. We are on our way back to the boat ramp. So, two flatheads for the trip. Missed a couple others, missed some channel cats, caught a couple channel cats, probably missed some gar. Caught a gar. Pretty fun. First flyheads in the boat, you guys. First flyheads in the boat. 14 years on in this boat, and I finally got a flyhead. The whole reason I bought this dinging boat. So, hopefully, you guys enjoy the video if this is one, if it turns out to be one. And uh, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys later. And she swallowed it. That is a monster.